What's up everyone, this is a guide on how to complete a pirate's life tall tale and where to find all the journals. Before we get started, the timestamps are in the description. Alright, to start this tall tale, head to any outpost and look for the castaway. Once you find the castaway, look for the tall tale titled A Pirate's Life. Vote on it and let your journey begin. The castaway will then begin to speak and a tall tale book will be added to your map radio. Eventually, she'll open a magic portal which you should be able to easily spot from the outpost. Go to your ship and sail into the portal. Now you'll be in the Tunnel of the Damned. You don't really have to do anything here, so just sit back and enjoy the scenery. Eventually, you'll come out of the tunnel and you'll be in the strange shores. Dock your ship at the island in front of you. Once docked, look for this broken hull on the shore. From there, you'll need to head west by southwest inland until you find another broken hull. Then head into the cave. This next part is called Dead Man's Grotto which is based on the Disney ride. There won't be any journals here so you can safely navigate through this without missing anything. I'll show you how to get through each room quickly but if you want to just do this part and enjoy it, feel free to skip to Sailor's Grave. Okay, so for this first room, use your lantern to pick up the Flame of Souls. Then light the lanterns in the rowboats next to the door. Then for this next room, you'll see a skeleton holding this lantern. Use your lantern to light that. Over on the left side of the door, you'll see another skeleton holding a lantern. Light that one too. Further left, you'll see an opening. Go down that path and light the lantern in the rowboat. The door in the main room will now begin to open. Now you can just continue going further into the grotto. Eventually, you'll come across these ghosts drinking. To the left of them, you'll see a small waterfall. Go through that and you'll find a skeleton holding an oar on the right side. Pick that up and go back to the room. Then head up and around the top. You should come across this door where you can place the ore to be used as a lever. Then just keep going. Once you get to this room, you'll see this small dock with a lantern. Light that lantern with your lantern. Then head up and use the capstan to lower the bridge. Once you cross the bridge, use this pulley to raise the platform. Then jump across and run down. At the end of the wooden dock, you'll see a lantern. Be sure to light that. Then eventually the ghost and the robot will make their way to you and the bridge will drop. Head up that bridge and continue on. Once you get to the room filled with gold, run past it and you'll find a path leading up. Go up that path and jump across the rocks. Now you'll be in the final room of the grotto. To cross this bridge, you can either sword dash across or you can climb this ladder on the right. Up the ladder, you'll find this string that you can cut with a cutlass. If you don't have a cutlass equipped, you can just use the armory to grab one. Now just cross the bridge and you'll see a pulley. Use that pulley to bring the platform over to you. Then jump on it and go to the other side. Head down that path and cut the string. Now just jump into the water. Alright, now you're in Sailor's Grave. Before you can head into the city, you'll need to light this brazier up at these steps to open the gate. The gate will begin to descend when you approach it. Now head on down past the ship, split in two. This area is where you'll find all the journals. There are actually two sets of journals here. I'll show you the steps that I took to find all of them and progress through this portion of the tall tale. These steps can probably be done in many different orders, but this is what made the most sense to me. Alright, so first, the cursed captain is up in that cage up there. Below the cage is a rowboat that I'll be using as a landmark to guide you to all the significant locations. To begin, you'll want to go past that and to the left where you'll find the tavern. You can see something shining up in the chandelier. But before we get that, I'll show you where the first Cursed Captain journal is. Head up the back of the tavern. You should then emerge on top of the shipwreck. On the table on the far side, you'll see the first journal. Be sure to read that. Next, head back down into the tavern and look for this pulley next to the ramp. You can use this pulley to lower the chandelier. Now just go to the chandelier and grab the cage key. This key will be used later to free the Cursed Captain's skull. For now, you can just set it next to the rowboat under the Cursed Captain's cage. Now, to find the second journal, head back towards the tavern. But instead of going into the tavern, follow the path on the left to go into the bottom of the main shipwreck. There you'll see some skeletons playing chess. To the left of them, you'll find another one of the Cursed Captain's journals. By the way, try to remember these locations as you'll be revisiting them soon. Next, go back to the rowboat and look past it for this wooden path. Follow this path and you'll find a door leading into the front of the main shipwreck. Open that door and head in. You can find the next journal on the nightstand. Alright, now we'll free the cursed captain. Head back towards the rowboat. Nearby you'll see some stairs leading up the rear of the main shipwreck. Run up those and around the back. Then use the fallen mast to cross over to the front. From there you can follow my path. Once you find this area, stand on the platform and use the pulley to ascend. Then at the top, use this pulley to raise the cargo hanging below. Hop across the cargo and use the pulley on the right to move the hanging platforms partially. Then use the platforms to jump across. Now you can head up to the top and cut the string holding up the cursed captain's cage. Once he's fallen, you can use the cage key to free him. You can actually pick him up and carry him around, but for now we'll be leaving him here. Go back to the tavern and head up the back. You'll see this table and a white candle. Use your lantern to light that candle. 
Ghosts will appear showing a spot on the map. That's actually going to lead you to a pile of gold that has already been dug up. Instead of going there, you can go to the dock on the left side of the lighthouse. Underneath the left side of the dock, you'll see some gold and some crates. Dig on the left of the treasure chest to find poor Dougie. Use your lantern to bring poor Dougie back to life. Dougie then tells you to find his treasure chest. For that, head back to the front of the main shipwreck. Remember that the wooden path nearby the robot will lead you there. Once you're there, use the pulley to open the curtains. Then go to the skeleton's bed and move its arm. You'll see in the magnifying glass a location in this city. Now on the right side of the bed, there will be some stairs. Head up and open the door. Now light the three torches up here. Once you've done that, head back down to the skeleton on the bed and there will be an X on the map. You can follow my path to the treasure chest. Once you dig that up, bring it back to Dougie. Dougie will then give you his key to open the chest. Inside you'll find a single medallion. We'll be needing this later. For now, you can set it next to the cursed captain's cage. Alright, now head back up to those floating platforms from earlier. Instead of going all the way across, jump into the cave on the right. In there, you'll find Captain Bone's moonshine. Open the door and head back down to the rowboat where you'll be piling everything up. Just to make sure, now you should have Captain Toxalot's head, poor Dougie's entire life savings, and the bottle of moonshine. Grab the bottle and head back to the skeleton's playing chest. When you get there, light the white candle with your lantern. Then fill up the skeleton on the right's tankard. After his head explodes, go back and bring the captain's head over here. He'll tell you that you'll need to buy into this game of chess. As you can probably guess, you'll need to go back and grab that medallion and use it to buy in. Then you can place the cursed captain's head on the skeleton on the right. Let that game play out and you'll be able to pick up the ship key from the table. Now you can use this path to head to the door that needs this key. Once you're there, open the door and collect your coin. But before you leave here, go onto the deck and angle the sails all the way. This will create a clear line of sight between the lighthouse and this brazier. Now head back and grab the captain's head and go to the lighthouse. He'll talk for a while and the bridge will be raised. Then go to the top of the lighthouse with him. Once you get up there, you'll see the fourth cursed captain's journal on the bookshelf. Be sure to read that. After you've read that, the captain will talk some more, then you'll be able to place his head on another skeleton's body. Then, after he's finished talking again, climb up the ladder and ignite the lighthouse. For this part, you'll need to light three braziers to guide the ferrymen here. You can use the left wheel to move the beam horizontally and the right wheel to move it vertically. Here are the three main braziers. After lighting them, the ferryman's ship will start coming this way. But before you descend the lighthouse, turn the beam towards the island. Remember the brazier we exposed earlier? You'll need to light that one too. Once you've done that, you'll see some flames pop up in the city revealing another path. Grab the cursed captain and head down the lighthouse. Then just set him down outside the ship with the red sails. We'll be coming back here later. Alright, head back to the main shipwreck. Run past it and you'll see a path lit up on the left. Follow that path and you'll find another shipwreck. Here's where you'll find the other set of journals. Up top you'll see a key, but first we'll read the first three journals of Captain Kate Capsize. The first one is to the left of the skeleton. The next one is on the mast. And the third one is on the ground next to the other mast. Now go back and grab the key. Then go down and around the side of the ship to find the door. The final two journals for Captain Capsize will be in here. One will be on the bookshelf and the other will be on the table. Make sure to read all of those. Okay, now head back where you left the cursed captain. Place his head on the body next to the door. He'll speak and then the door will be opened. Pick him up and head up to the top of the ship. Once you get up there, set him down in the cabin. The final cursed captain journal is located on the right side of the cabin. Then place his head on the body. After he's finished speaking, grab the key and open the door behind him. 
Head past the gold and detach the rowboat. Basically just paddle straight and you'll eventually see the ferryman ship. Attach the rowboat to the back to board his ship. Then use the ladder on the side to climb up. After you've done that, he'll begin speaking and start sailing. Go down to the deck and light the well of fates with your soul flame. That will open up the lower deck. There you can find fruit barrels and cannon barrels. To the left is a door with a torch next to it. Light that to open the door. Then you'll need to light the torch on the far wall. After that, move the sarcophagus that's vertical to reveal another torch. Light that to open the final door. Then head on down to find the prisoner. From there, the rest of the telltale should be pretty straightforward. I don't want to spoil anything, so this is where I'll leave you. Alright, there you have it. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments or in the Discord. The link for the Discord is in the description. I hope this was able to help you complete this tall tale and earn you some new cosmetics. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos and live streams. I live stream right here on my channel nearly every Friday and Saturday at 9pm Central. Come say hello. See you in the next one.